What an intellectual question. He believes that religion is about passion, he says, tolerance, and all manner of things he said. I can't remember everything. He then goes on to say, he can't understand why the nation of Islam adopt a uniform that appears military. It doesn't appear to fit into what he believes religion should be. Well, first of all, let me say this. There is a lot of religion in this world. A lot of religion, but very little God. Lots of religions. Football is a religion today. Football is a religion. So we're not really interested in religion. There are many, many religions. It's a religion to go to the pub every night. It's a religion for some people to get drunk on Friday night. This is religion. Some people practice their religion in uh, the mosque on Friday at Juma prayer. But when they leave the mosque, there's no more religious practice. They go to the church on Sunday, they get religious for a couple of hours, come out of the church, back to the filth. So we're not interested in religion. We're interested in a way of life. Practice 24-7, 24 hours, seven days a week. Our religion is a way of life. It's the way we live. And I want to say this to you. You say, oh, the nation of Islam, oh, you know, you, the, the uniform is military. Well, this is a military uniform, but this is a, a suit, a business suit and a bow tie. When you see the Europeans, Tony Blair in a bow tie and a suit, Oh, you're not intimidated. You say, oh, the nation of Islam adopts this aggressive stance. What's aggressive about it? What, what, what have these brothers done to you? The reason why we adopt this stance is because you may not appreciate it, but we appreciate the hatred that has been fermented against us. We are wise people. We're not fools. So we're saying to any potential aggressor, don't even try it because we ain't playing. We have a right to defend ourselves. And so don't try and talk foolishness to us, like, oh, we're gonna come in Hyde Park and just stand around talking, like we've got nothing better to do. We're organized people. When you go outside Buckingham Palace and you see the soldiers standing there with their guns, are you intimidated? <laughs> you see the police walking around here with bulletproof vest on and long handled batons and CS gas. You're not intimidated, are you? But when a black man stands up with a business suit and a bow tie, ooh, I'm so scared. Think about it. <laughs> it's, like, it's so punkified, man. It makes, it makes us sick. It makes us sick. Because I said before and I'll say again, if we were all wearing shorts, we'd be intimidated. Ooh, look at their aggressive thighs. I mean, it doesn't matter what we do. If we had dreadlocks, ooh, look, they're scary. <laughs> Now you're scared because we've got bald heads. <laughs> now you're scared because we're clean shaven. Now you're scared because we look neat and tidy. What the hell is going to stop you from being scared? <laughs> why, for example, now, why not stand there in short? I'm fine, thank you very much. What's the question you're asking? <laughs> Again, you never answer my question directly about why you chose to adopt the military uniform. Simplify. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Every nation on the earth has a military. Every nation on earth has a uniform body of people that shows that they are organized. When you call the fire service, they come in a uniform. When you travel on British Airways, they wear a uniform. When you go into the city every morning, watch the uh, people going across on the bridge, you see them wearing the business suit. It's not military. When, why is the, the captain of the ship called a captain? Why are they called on the airplane lieutenants? In civil aircrafts. Listen. Fire brigade. Why have they got all these ranks in the police and in the fire brigade and everywhere else? Salvation Army. Salvation Army. Think about Why do they wear a uniform? 
think about it. Oh, oh, it's not military. Look, man, everything in life has a military bearing if it's to be successful. Did you know that the ants, the very ants are military? All right, of course. Well, if you know that, am I above an ant? Are we above ants? But you don't expect to see black people military. You're so used to seeing black people playing football. And even then they give them a uniform so you can identify one team from the other one. But now we choose now to build a nation. But you think we're going to come as rabble? This man asked, well, why not just wear a suit? Why don't you wear shorts so that we can be your laughing stock? You're not laughing now. See, you take us seriously when we look like this. When we look like this, you take us seriously. See, we, we, we got your attention. We have got your attention. Because now you can see a group of black people standing uniform. In the word uniform, you have the word unity. Unity. You have the word unit. So as Islam, well, if you under, well, you already understand. So, so it's a waste of time asking such a foolish question then, because because I understand. So I wonder why you want to ask such a foolish question when you already understand. Well, whether you understand or not, I'm going to explain it to the rest of the people because you already know the answer. But the reason why we wear a uniform is to demonstrate. To those who may not know that we are indeed in unity and what that means is you can no longer attack this brother without having to attack me we're sending a message to those who have divided and ruled black people who have scattered us all over the world and all over the place that we are now coming back together that we are one brotherhood one family when you see a member of the Metropolitan Police, you know you're not looking at an individual. You know that connected to his radio are at least another 27,000 in London alone. And so you have respect for that individual because you know that that individual's got backup. Well, you're going to have respect for the Nation of Islam today because you know that the Nation of Islam, we got backup and we are one and we stand for one another. And so that's why we have a uniform, to show uniformity, to show unity, to show order, to show organization, to let you know that we're not some rabble wearing shorts, dressed how we feel. We are military in that that is the only way that you will ultimately be successful by having order and structure. And so every nation, as I said before, has its military. The other day when the Queen Mother died, you saw that she was surrounded by the military. She was a military woman, even though she was the Queen Mum. But she was, the military was not lost on her. The Queen of England with her military. Tony Blair with his military. Farrakhan with his military. Because there's a new nation coming in. And we're not going to be no fools who have not who are not military structured and militarily organized. Yes, sir.